it was important to get our first team players 90 minutes uh, as much as we could. Um, they've not played a lot recently, so they need time in their legs. We're thankful to Partick for bringing their first team here because obviously their game was off. Um, and it was good to see uh, Lewis May and Jeremy Bajonis as well. So those guys did well. And we had a, a good workout against a team that's working extremely hard and obviously uh, needed a workout themselves. So we're thankful to our opponent. But all that being said, now, we're as a staff fairly disappointed with our, our standard of play, standard of performance. Um, we had talent and ability on the pitch and didn't really capitalise in good moments and I thought we deserved to lose the game and I think that's the first time I've probably said that this year, that we didn't actually do enough to win the game. There's some nice bits, some pretty bits, but one of the fundamentals of football is you have to be able to defend and run around and, and outwork your opponent. I didn't think we were anywhere near doing that today. And after losing that early goal, um, did have a few chances, but just couldn't get a goal in that first half. Yeah, we, we, we keep on creating chances. Look at the talent we have on the pitch. We've got Jordan Jones, Brandon Barker, uh, Jake Hasty. We've, we've got uh, Kieran Dixon joining in. We've got international fullbacks joining in. We're going to create chances. Um, unfortunately, once again, um, even though we're creating them, we're not taking them. So it's a, it's a, it's a thing our players need to learn uh, when you are on top in games. You need to score, I think. Um, if, if there's one lesson that they need to learn from this entire season it's probably that that, that football doesn't give you anything you need to go and grasp it and we, we didn't do enough in the first half to actually put the ball in the back of the net or, or actually deserve to be on level terms because we weren't good enough we weren't clinical enough we weren't insightful enough we weren't incisive enough we weren't all those things you want to describe about good attacking play we didn't do it enough um, and it's disappointing and on a positive note, Jack Thompson was back on the pitch after a long time injury. Pleasing to see him involved again. Oh, it's very, very pleasing. He, he's had a long time. He's had a he's had a stop-start kind of kind of couple of years. Actually, he gets back and then gets another injury. But I thought he looked good. The game is still a little bit um, frantic for him at the moment. But in that 45 minutes, he shows the attributes that we know he have. Has he's uh, physically imposing, even though he's not quite sharp yet. He has a good range of pass he, he hits the ball like a first team player when he, when he passes the ball he makes a lovely sound like a first team player would um, and, and he's got the capacity to be a very very good link between the back and front of the team so for him to get 45 minutes on his belt is, is one of the few positives but it's a really really big positive for us and I've got to say a massive thank you and a massive well done to our support staff so Robin and Tam and, and Jamie and Paul the physios and, and sports science staff that have worked so hard with Jack I've got him back in a fantastic state, not only physically but mentally as well, and ready to kick on to the next part of his year. And for us to see that, and after all the disappointment for today, to see that is just a really, really massive tick.